hello friends welcome to code crush coding so in this video we are going to create the website which you are seeing on your screen now so this is the website that we are going to create so let me show you the website first so this is created only with the help of html so here we have logo for our website code crush here is the title and here are different links so when i click on home so i'm able to get whatever content is written in that home apart from that here are another two links about so we are getting the section for about me here we have one image and one paragraph apart from that there is tutorial section so once user clicks on tutorial he is able to go to the tutorial section here we have different tutorials available and one image so this is the overview of our website that we are going to create in this video so let's start the coding for this website so here we are using the sublime text editor in our code So this is our HTML file, mywebsite.html. So let's first create the HTML template, HTML. So this is the template for HTML. And let's give title here. Let's say my website, or you can say code crush. You can provide any name of your choice. Let me save this, open in browser. So see, this is our website title is getting displayed here and the page is blank as we haven't provided anything in our web page right now. So currently what we will start. So this is the first section I see in this website. So let's start coding, coding for this first section. So first thing you need to do here is inside the body tag, you need to say table. Let's provide width for this table. So it will take the entire uh, capacity of the screen that is 100%. So width 100% and bg color that is background color let's say orange let me save this let's refresh our page once so currently we are not getting anything because we haven't provided any table data it and table row or headers so after that let's provide tr tag which is table row so this is the first row of the table after that we will provide table data td so this is the table data tag and in this we will provide another table so let's say we want to create another table here table so this is another table inside td and let's provide width to it as let's say 90 percent we can see uh, once we get the output there we can adjust the width accordingly then width is set to it and let's say we want to have align it to center and now we will have table row for this table tr close that table row and inside this we will have table data and now what we want to provide here let's say we want to provide the image because if you see this website the first row that is entered here is the image so I do have this image here in my local so you can download any of the image you want for your logo so this is my image code crush logo dot jpg file so I will provide here the path for it so inside the table I will say image tag source will be what was the name code crush logo dot jpg so code crush logo dot jpg so this is the source let me first save this and check now let's go in the chrome browser so this is our file code crush see we are getting this background color also and this image also so let's make the alignment here properly let's adjust the height and width so height will be let's say 80 pixel and width is 80 pixel and if i refresh the website now so see we are getting this table and this table row also and the background color is orange so it's looking better now let's add the another section here like code crush home about and tutorials so another table data we will require here
सो टी डी एंड या वी विल से हेडिंग थ्री कोड क्रश आई सेव दिस एंड चेक नाउ सो वी आर गेटिंग कोड क्रश यो बट इफ यू सी यो वी आर गेटिंग कोड क्रश यो सो लेट्स मेक द एडजस्टमेंट यो करेक्टली एच थ्री आफ्टर दैट देर आर अनदर सेक्शन ऑल्सो सो लेट्स एड देम फर्स्ट टी डी सो एंकर टैग होम लेट्स कॉपी दिस सेकेंड सेक्शन वॉज सेकेंड सेक्शन यर प्रोवाइडेड इज होम अबाउट एंड टूटोरियल्स सो यर आई विल से अबाउट एंड योर टूटोरियल्स लेट्स सी हाउ इट्स लुकिंग ऑन योर वेबसाइट सो यर वी आर गेटिंग कोड क्रश होम अबाउट एंड टूटोरियल्स सो सी दिस पार्ट वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड यर नाउ लेट्स चेंज द कलर ऑफ दिस टू वाइट बिकॉज विथ येलो बैकग्राउंड इट्स लुकिंग बेटर वाइट सो वॉट आई कैन डू I will all these anchor tag color I want in white color. So instead of providing here the color, what I will do, I will make here one tag which is style tag, style, and inside this style tag I will provide the anchor tag A, and I will say color white. If you check now, so see we are getting the white color. Also, what I can do, I can say your font family. Verdina font, any font you can provide of your choice. Let's see how it looks here. So it's looking much better now. And also, I can make the font for this heading that we have provided here H3. We can say a style font family Verdina. Let's save this. Yeah. So this is how our header is looking. Code Crush Home About and Tutorials. So let's start with the next thing that we. can cover here so the second thing i can see here we have another section which is about the home which says hi welcome to code crush coding easy coding and fun coding below that there is about me section so for the home part we need to cover this upper two lines so let's start the coding for that so here what we can do we need to create another table so this was the all about the headers that we covered now Let's add the another table. So here I will say table. For this table, I will have width is hundred percent, and BG color. What color is provided here now? So earlier we had orange. Now here is black color. So let's provide black inside this table. we will have table row tr inside tr we will have table data similar way in the earlier header section we had provided inside this table data we will have another table and for this table the width will be what width we have provided earlier same we can provide 90% and align it to center so width will be Ninety percent, and align it to center. And inside this, we need to provide table row for this table, and then table data. And inside this table data, now we can provide the content. So, what content we need to provide? We need to provide this heading. Hi, welcome to Code Crush Coding. So, we can have one H two heading here. and say hi welcome to code crush coding let's save this and check on browser now so we are getting the black color background color but the text of hi all welcome to code crush coding is also black that's why it's not getting displayed here so the color we want to have for the heading is white so let's do that change here style 
or we can directly set to this table data style let's change for heading only here we can say style and color white if you see now sorry so this is our website and we are getting here hi welcome to code crush coding after that what we can do here h2 we need to add another heading here which is easy coding fun coding so let's add that text also now we can add here another heading h1 and say easy coding fun coding easy coding fun coding and the color should be the color should be this one like dark orange so we can provide your style and say color dark orange let's save this see we are getting here hi welcome to code crush coding easy coding fun coding but we want this to be displayed on the center so we need to have this td this entire two headings that we have displayed here to be aligned to center so i will provide here align center so once i align it to center it should be displayed in the center now see we are getting here hi welcome to code crush coding easy coding fun coding so it's the second section also we have covered now let's cover this about me section now so let's see in code how we can do this so we will have another table here table so for this table the width will be 100 percent width 100 percent and inside this background color is also black for this table then we will have table row then table data and inside this table data we will have another table so for this table the width we provide is 90 percent say 90 percent and then align it to center align center and for this table table row then table data and inside this table data now what we want to provide here we have to have one heading which says about me right so here we will provide heading h2 which says about me let's save this check on browser so yes we are getting this table and background color black we need to change the text color for about me so what is the color that we will need to provide here the same as easy coding fun coding color so it will be dark orange so let's provide that style color which is dark orange let's check see we are getting here about me so we need to provide this td2 align center so this about me will be shifted to center now and if you observe here we have one horizontal line provided below about me so that can be provided using the hr tag so here you need to provide hr and you need sorry h4 hr tag and inside this hr tag you can have width as let's say 70 and let's see so see we are getting here horizontal line and if you observe the color should be also the same so we will have the same color for this and also increase the width so let's say width 90 and we can say your it color and let's say color dark orange let's save this and check now we refresh so see we are getting here about me 
and the horizontal line is also in the same color so what we need to do next so next thing is there we have this image here and after that image we have this text so this is entire one row so what we can do here in table data we will have another td now in this table row and in this table data we will have image and which image we want to add here so this is the image we want to add and this image is demo 3.1.jpg demo 3.1.jpeg so this image we want to display as we have displayed earlier the logo image so let's save this and check how it's looking on the website so this is our website refresh it so see we are getting here the image but the image is looking more larger here so we need to make adjustment uh, for this image so let's try to add the width to this image so width let's say 90 percent if i save this and open in browser we have already had this code so see we are getting in this way this image but we want this image to be below about me so what we can do oh we are adding this image in the same row see we have we were adding this image in the same row we need to have another row here table row and inside this table row we will have table data and inside this table data we will paste this image remove this table tag now so this is the image that we want to have let's run this now so we are getting about me above and this image below here and this here also we can provide one width let's say 40 percent let's refresh the website now Okay, no change is happening here so what we can do with 40 percent is there image we have provided let's add the another here table data td so inside this table data what we will do we will add the text so p paragraph tag we will use and i already have copied some text here in my notepad you can provide any text of your choice let me have paste this and I will paste this inside the paragraph tag and let's style this paragraph here style I want to make the color color for this as white color is white and let's say size size 300 pixel and let's save this refresh the browser now try to refresh the browser so see now we are getting correct right because what was happening earlier this image was taking up the entire space but in this table row now we have the paragraph also so that's why the image got adjusted in the correct alignment but the about me is in this particular column what we what we can see in this column so what we want this should be somewhere here so we can make use of call span so here we can provide call span 2 so if i check now so see in this way our website is looking now so it's looking pretty good now we have one image also we have your paragraph so the part we have cover here is this one the next section we want to cover is the this part the tutorial section so let's start coding for that particular part so it will have the similar format we will have table for this table the width is 100 percent and the background color is gray and inside this we will have table row then we will have table data and inside this table data we will have another table this table width is 90 percent and align it to center so 
this is what we were following earlier also and here we need to provide table row then we will have table data and here we can provide if you see in the website we have the tutorial section which is similar to our about me section right in the same way so let's see how we had provided the about me so you can copy the same thing here so what you will need to do in td tag you need to copy this and td should be aligned to center so here we will have this and td aligned to center so align it to center so color now should be color is different it's black color here so black and the hr should be also black now and here we will have tutorial let's check on browser refresh the page so see we are getting your tutorial and the hr also like the horizontal line after that we need to have this particular list c c plus plus java python html so here we need to provide another table row so this was our first table row for this table then we will have another table row then table data inside this table data we will have an ordered list and in an ordered list we will provide the list items let's provide it in heading tag h1 let's copy this entire tag and let's provide the content here so let's say i want to provide c c++ java python and html let's see on browser So see we are getting our data C, C++, Java, Python and HTML. Now what we want, we want to add this image also. So we do have this image here, which is demo 3.2.jpg. So let's add that image in our code. So here, below this table data, we will have another table data in the same row for the image and here we will provide the image tag source name should be demo 3.2.jpeg this is the image and let's say width we want to say 100% and what we can align here and height height 100% Let's provide hundred percent. Let's see how the image is looking on our website now. So see here, the image is looking very large here. So we need to adjust the height of image. So what we can do here? Height we can reduce it to let's say ten percent. So we have table row. But we can reduce here say fifty percent and ten percent to refresh now see now the image is looking smaller but what we want to do we want to have some gap between this uh, list items and the image so let's make adjustment for the same so here in table data the above above table data we can provide the width here let's say width 60% let's see how it behaves now if I try to refresh it see the width is getting adjusted here let's make it to 75% so here 75% refresh okay now let's adjust the height width let's say 100 now the height is 10 percent yeah it's looking much better now the image also so tutorial but if you observe here 
that about me and this heading all are in the same alignment but our tutorial is not in the same alignment so what we need to do here we need to call span it because earlier for about me also we had made use of call span so here we can say column okay here call span for the table data call span 2 so if we see now so see we are getting here tutorial and all this image is also in the correct format our data is getting displayed about me section is reading so all these things are ready now here what we want to do now if I click on home nothing is happening about nothing is happening tutorials nothing is happening right so what we want to do when I click on home this data should get highlighted or the page should be scrolled there if I click on tutorials then automatically the page should go to the tutorial section so what you can do here you need to make use of ID to have this I have separate video in this playlist you can check out that video but in this video also I will cover that so here you need to say when you have this data these links here you need to provide hash and let's say home so what it will do let let me first provide all the IDs here then it will say about hash and let's say tutorial okay so we, these names we have provided and when someone clicks on home I want to get navigated to this home section so this table is there for home right first one so I will say ID and inside that we need to provide the same name that we have provided here so home we have provided right so home another table was so this was for home this is for about me section so I will provide here ID and about and the third table which is for tutorial so I will provide here ID and say tutorial let's save this refresh the browser so we had refreshed the browser now so if I click on home so you can see the above part is getting automatically in the upward direction and we are getting highlighted the home part so this one if I click on about so only about me is getting highlighted and if I click on tutorials so it is navigating me to the tutorial section so this was the website that we have created with the help of only HTML we haven't used CSS here so this was the basic website you can make more enhancement in this website but we had covered many topics in this video so that's it for this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching